This short video looks at the ReadyTalk Flex header panel and how to customize it. Shown here is my usual ReadyTalk Flex console. The header panel is the area at the top of the console window. It is divided into four areas. In the middle is the ReadyTalk Flex title and just below this title is the connection status of the ReadyTalk Flex to the Advanced Geo Services Emergency Acknowledgement Server. This is a special feature that allows ReadyTalk Flex to acknowledge emergency conditions. Now you may not have this feature on your ReadyTalk Flex, in which case there will be the usual Omnitronics banner. Just like so. On the left side is an area for a customer logo. In my case I've inserted an image with a transparent background containing the text Port Security and Services. Now this image can be a JPEG or a PNG or a bitmap type file. Ideally the image should be 150 pixels in width by 100 pixels in height. But ReadyTalk Flex will attempt to fit different sizes. The image file must have the name logo, so logo.bmp or logo.png or logo.jpg is OK and the file must be where the ReadyTalk Flex executable is located. Usually this is in the folder C Program Files Omnitronics ReadyTalk Flex. If there is no logo file then ReadyTalk Flex will not display anything in this area. And over on the far right hand side is an area for the OEM or provider logo. The same rules apply for this logo as the customer logo except the file must be named oem.png or oem.jpg or oem.bmp. If this file is not provided then ReadyTalk Flex will display the Omnitronics logo by default which is what is shown on my console at the moment. The last area may or may not display anything. It depends on whether the secondary output device has been enabled in the audio menu. At the moment my console does not display anything. If I go to setup and then select the audio options menu and then look for secondary output device I can choose to switch my output audio between two devices. I enable the option, click apply and then close that down and two icons have now appeared in this fourth area. One icon, usually a headphone image, selects the main output while the other image, usually a speaker, selects the secondary output device. Hovering over the icon displays the actual audio device configured. In that case it's a USB device I've connected to my PC and that one is the normal audio card found on my laptop. So that completes my discussion of the ReadyTalk Flex header panel. So don't forget we can put a logo over on the left hand side here, another logo on the right hand side, any sort of image you like. Uh, we can switch between audio output devices for monitoring purposes and if we have an AGS server connection we can get the status to show up at this particular point here. And remember if you have any further inquiries about products from Omnitronics you can always contact us on email at sales at omnitronics.com.au and you may have some technical queries uh, maybe on some of these configuration items we've been looking at. You can always get us at support at omnitronics.com.au. Okay thank you for that and bye for now.